DC Universe presents number seven, aka Challengers of the Unknown, issue two, written by Dan DiDio and Jerry Ordway, art by Jerry Ordway. Left off last issue with the team escaping with a talisman from the Himalayas, and then a final panel reveal of Ace, their dead compatriot, coming out of a soul well thing. This issue picks up showing the soul well thing to monk guys are casting a spell to bring out a demon and the demon's like oh god this body is rotten i need your souls and they're like yes we will help you and they he so sucks their souls from their body and they go no but then he takes the form of a very wounded and evil looking ace who says like ah yes forced to land in forced to live in the lands of death and blah blah point being is that he wants the challengers dead I don't know. He just says it'll help his power and glory. Just roll with it. So apparently two months have passed. The Challengers are now in Metropolis. And they are on a set. And June is there. And they, she's basically saying the set sucks. It looks like a 50s sci-fi movie. And Morgan Edge, who made appearances, I believe, in Superman? I don't know. Regardless, he, he's here and he's like, well, you know, your show was scheduled for cancellation. If you want to keep complaining, we can just go ahead and cancel it. He's like, yeah, well, we've got the hottest thing on television since then. You want to get rid of that? Get us a better set. And then her cast comes in and they're like, hey, man, awesome set. I really like the 50 cheesy sci-fi thing. And Morgan Edge is like, see, focus groups make sense. All right, bye now. And so he walks off. And then they start talking about just everything that's been going on in the past issue and how they were, uh, Maverick had some buddies fly by that area of the Himalayas, but they couldn't find any city, they couldn't find any anything. They couldn't even find the wreckage from the plane that they crashed. So June's like, that's impossible. There's got to be something going on. And we got to, our, the dying wish was to figure out what's going on with this talisman thing. So we've got to, we've got to figure out what to do. And the one kid, Freddie or whatever, ch chimes up and he's like, I know where we can get some tech. Let's go to my house. So they go to some sort of like mountainside estate that's just like super duper rich person home. And Freddie's just like, eh, hey, you know, I made some good money in the stock market. I bought this house. Half party house, half laboratory. Let me take you to the laboratory half. So they go to the lab half. And apparently he's already been running tests on the talisman and discovered that it symbolizes some ancient thing. And there are at least like seven talismans and two of them they've already been able to locate so they're out there and they are they've he's already got tracks on where they are and so june makes a call being like hey mr edge you know how you said you'd get me whatever i need for my show which honestly i didn't pick up on but apparently he said it they got a jet and they're going out to take on this talisman thing but they're framing it as part of the show so they all are wearing matching jumpsuits and all of them have cameras inside of their suits so they can still use it as the tv show footage and obviously they're a bit iffy about getting on a plane but they do so and they all get bad feelings about it which we then see the demon ace guy over standing in the shadows just going soon and then TSA steps up like, excuse me, sir, you're not allowed on the tarmac and he's like, you dare interrupt me and he sucks out their souls and beats them up then we go to the Teutoburg Forest in Germany, which has some big rock formations. And apparently they only discovered that these rock formations had caves two months ago, a.k.a. when all the events of issue one went down. So they go inside and they see these very out-of-place sculptures of, like, ancient Christianity or something like that. I don't know. It's a bit confusing. But regardless, they go deeper in the cave and... Immediately they stumble across one of the talismans just sitting on a pedestal and June just goes yoink. And they're like, haven't you ever seen Indiana Jones? You need to put the, the dirt on there to even it out. And she's like, this isn't a movie. But then literally that thing starts happening and all of the sculptures on the wall from before start coming to life and coming off of the wall and start attacking them. Meanwhile, we go back to Freddy and a professor character who I guess was there the whole time. Uh... But regardless, they are analyzing the talisman in Freddy's lab. And they're just basically talking like how Freddy, like, always had to be the best at everything. But people hated him for it. But he was still the best. Meanwhile, the professor guy just teaches kids science on TV. He, he's so smart, but he just chooses to be lazy. 
and then they just do a Google search and find this guy online is talking about the talismans and has a lot more info than they do. And then Freddy gets stabbed. <laughs> and he shows up and stabs Freddy and then goes to stab the professor as well. So then we get the backstory of the, or we get back to the story of the challengers. Uh, the rock monsters are attacking them and not really giving them any chance to escape. They're all after the talisman, obviously. Uh, but June's refusing to give it up, so they all start shooting at the statues, which does next to nothing until Maverick gets a big like laser gun out and he shoots through one of the statues. He hands Red a grenade and Red starts climbing up to the top of the mountain, seemingly leaving the rest for dead. But then he plants the grenade inside of the mountainside and when it goes off, it causes a rock fall that crashes on top of all the statues, but everyone else manages to get out fine. And as they are all congratulating each other on narrowly escaping death, we see Professor and Freddy dead on the ground back at home. And June's just like, well, I sure hope that they found some answers. Womp, womp, womp. Okay, so this is apparently a three-part series. We are, this, this, we are two-thirds of the way done with this. And knowing that, I don't feel like I know anything. I feel like I am completely lost as to what in the hell is going on here. So, it's not great. The art style leaves a lot to be desired of. And, I mean, I understand the, geometri the uh, geography of each layout. I understand where everybody is. I can see who is who. I'm never mistaking characters for other characters. But it's just like it's house style and then it's taking it down two notches of like just worse. And I don't know what to place it on. It just feels like really lazy for like all of it. So yeah, I don't know. Art is not great. And then just writing wise. I mean, if you need more time, give yourself more time. But three issues and you're telling this big thing of you, you want to find seven talismans and you got one and a half so far because you haven't even made it back to town with this one yet. There's no way that's happening over the course of the The only way I could see this series ending is that they face Ace and take him out. But then they're like, but we still have to find the talismans in some future thing that never actually happens. So... I gotta give this like a 4.5 because I'm just, I don't know what they're going for here. I have no idea what is what is the aim of this series in just this amount of time. And maybe I shouldn't be viewing, like maybe I should just be living the week to week pretending that I don't know this is going to end next issue. But like the solicitations have already come out. Everyone who cares to check knows that that's the end. So I don't know. It's just... This doesn't feel this feels like such a stopgap, but they didn't even plan out the stopgap, so I don't even know what this series is anymore. But it's a 4.5. That's what this particular issue is. <laughs> <laughs>